Alrighty, so this is a quick video. Merry Christmas, everyone. I got this baddie for Christmas. Uh, Lorenz Elite 7 Ti. And I've noticed that there's no videos or instructions in the manual of how to put these replacement blue accents on. So I figured I'd make a quick video to show you how to do it. Because the only other video I saw on YouTube was wrong. Um, so all you really need is a instrument that you can poke something with. So if you look on your unit, there's a hole in between these torque screws. Don't ever touch these screws. You're not supposed to take those off. All you need is something to be able to go into each of those holes and put some pressure on and it should pop out that little piece from each corner. And all it really has to do now is slide that out. So that's the original black piece. And then you take your the corresponding blue piece. This is the corresponding one for that. Slide it in the notch, just like that. And then, line up the corner piece again and push until you have a positive click. And that's it, that's all you need to do. So, there you go. I'll do that again. I'll bring the camera closer so you can see a bit more detail. So, one second. Alrighty, so back again. So hopefully you'll see a better picture of it. So these are the holes. Alrighty, so this is a closer video. Now get your instrument for fitting through that hole to prod through. Now you got to give it some force. It, it would almost feel like you're about to break something and it's not right, but I'm pretty sure this is what you're supposed to do. So push through. If you see the piece goes straight through. It just pushes down on that and the little clips come out. There's the old, well, the original black piece that just simply simply slides out, and this new piece, well, not new piece, but the blue piece, slides into the slot, and then you take your corner piece again and just push, and that's pretty much it. Alrighty, so yeah, don't follow the other video of how to take these off. There is no unscrewing of anything. That's a great way to ruin the waterproof IP rating of it. So yeah, all you need is something that'll fit through each one of those holes and you're good to go. Alrighty, Merry Christmas everyone. Alrighty, so I figured I'd just um, complete the installation, I guess, of the replacement accent clips, just because. So, that pops out, that comes off, and then you just got to figure out which piece goes to the front. So, it's not that one, it has to be this one. Oh yeah, there you go. So there's a little groove that you just line that up with. And once that's in and flush, you just get the corner again, pop it in. There you go, everything's flush. Now this one still has the 
card sticker on. Um, I guess I will go there. And pop this last one off. Sometimes they're really stuck in, I guess, from what I've found. With the one or two that I popped off. So you just gotta like really push down like this one. So this one's pretty hard, but getting nervous doesn't feel right but you know it worked for the other three this is a doozy I don't know if there's anything special I need to do for this one or am I just being a little bitch yeah I was being a little bitch so that pops off no harm it's just really stuck in good, some of them. And then, come on up the slot. That way. There you go. So as you can see, there's no damage or anything there. Some of them are just really stuck on from factory. And... Yeah. It's all good. in, get your corner piece, Bob's your uncle, there you go, that's the uh, finished product, so these are the old pieces, and I guess you can sand them up, make them rough, and then put a coat of spray paint, whatever color you want, to change these up if you're not a fan of the black, and there you go.